Hey folks, uh, Mr. Mathblog here, and this uh, lesson is at the beginning of school, so this is uh, right before you start diving into your chapter. This is a, just a vocabulary builder. We'll be talking about these later on in the chapter right here. So here we have uh, this list of words over here, and we're going to write uh, the review that has the check mark over here, review words, the ones with the check mark over here, on the word line over here, and we're going to place them from the greatest to the least. Okay, well, let's let's do a little recap right here. Here's place value. I just made a random number right here. This number is read as 975,816. Okay? And this 6 right here is in the 1's position. The, the 1 right here is represented the 10's position. The 8 is in the 100's position. The 5 is in the 1000's position. The 7 is in the 10,000's. And finally, the 100,000's. And then after that, later on, we'll do this in the next chapter, I believe. Then this goes into the millionth. So it would be a millionth, 10 millionth, 100 millionth. And then when you want to get really big numbers, they go into the billions and trillions after that. Okay, so let's go ahead and they want us to list them from the, the greatest to the least. So the biggest place value I see, there's a hundred. Okay, that doesn't have a check mark. It says look for the ones with the check marks. Okay, the ones, that one goes down at the bottom. The tens goes underneath that. The ten thousands, that's what goes first. So I'm going to go ahead and cross out ten thousands and put it right there. Okay, and then thousands is next, so that's what will go right there. And then, um, and then out of these ones, the hundreds, the ones, the tens, the hundreds would go next. Okay, and then the tens would go next. And then the smallest is the ones right there. Alrighty? Okay, and then... Uh, so here we have some more vocabulary building here. So read the definition. Uh, which word does it describe? Okay, these are kind of kind of tricky, you guys. So I have some uh, preview words over here: estimate, expanded form, period, round numbers, standard form, word form. Some of these um, you're probably not aware of, and we'll talk more about this in this chapter, I know. So a number to uh, a number close to an exact amount. Which one would that be? A number close to an exact amount. Hopefully you guys can see it's it's an estimate, you guys. Okay, so es when you're estimating, you're you're estimating like like when you guys think of the number 3.14, you're probably thinking or you might have heard of a number called pi. That is an estimate of pi. Actually, pi goes on forever. 3.141526 something something something. I don't know, but it's just an estimate when you just do 3.14. Anyways, okay. Each group of three digits separated by a comma in a multi-digit number. Okay. Now you probably don't know this one. This one's called a period right here. A period. I'll show you right here. Let's go back to this big old number right here. Those uh, groups of three digits right here. This is called a period. This is the period of of a thousands right here. This period right here is the period in the ones right here. This is the ones, this is the tens, this is the hundreds. This all of a sudden becomes the thousands period. This is the thousands, this is the ten thousands, this is the hundred thousands. If I had a comma right here and had three more numbers, it'd be the period of a millions right here, okay? So that one would be the period right there. So to replace a number with a number, another number, that tells about how much that number is. Okay, what that is, is we are rounding numbers. Okay, we'll do some more rounding later. A way to write numbers uh, by using the digits 0 through 9 with each digit having a place value. Okay, well that is called uh, the standard form. Uh, like that number back there, That this number right here, is, uh, it's in standard form right here. Okay, so that is called standard form. All right, and then a way to write numbers to, uh, by showing the value of each digit. Okay, so that would be, uh, that's going to be um, uh, the uh, expanded form, and I'll show you an example here, right here. This, this number, I'm going to put this in expanded form, 5,372. This 5,000 is represented right here. This 300 is represented right here. This 70 is represented right here, and then this 2 is represented right here. So this 5,372, here it is in an expanded form. And get used to that. We're going to be doing that a lot in this chapter right here, okay? So this is a way to write numbers uh, by show the value of each digit in expanded form, okay? I hope that makes sense, you guys. And if it does and you like it and you're at home, please click like if your parents will let you and subscribe again if your parents will let you. Take care and have a great year, you guys.